What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug. Welcome back to WR3D21 on the PC. The hottest free agent still trying to find a new venue of employment. And we have a one on one match here with Johnny Blaze. So hopefully, we'll impress somebody besides 205 Live and Jack Gallagher. If you will, one on one in the ring, empty arena, as is customary in the year 2020. Now then, I did watch AEW last night, have not watched NXT yet, read the spoilers for that DDT into the clutch. Can I make this happen in a quick fashion? We shall see. But pedigree to Johnny Blaze, pinfall, and only a one count. So AEW had every title on the line last night. Spoiler, none of them changed hands. So FTR defended with the usual Tully interference against best friends. Cody and Orange Cassidy went to a time limit draw. And I love the fact that AEW has that option for matches, but very rarely uses it. That's the important part. As long as it's there, right? Having that option be there, but not actually using it slug stomp. Very rarely. So, in the one year of AEW's existence, there's only been one DQ finish to a match. So again, having your stipulations but using them rarely is just good wrestling. Because you forget at a certain point, oh wait, they have that time limit. And then when you use it, it's super effective. So Cody and Orange Cassidy will have a rematch in two weeks. Hikaru Shida defeated Big Swole for that women's title, and special. Of course I'm in the wrong spot for special. That's always how it happens. That's always how it happens. I want to be in the center. Get up. Uh, and of course I lost it. That's usually how that goes. Usually how that goes. But it is, oh my god, Jews effect. So, main event was Mox and Archer, which ended up being a no DQ, because this camera is killing me. Back to side follow for the time being here in the empty arena. Missed it. Missed it, whiffed it, and it's still a bad camera. Just give me a camera, I'm not blocked by a giant bald head. The Braun Strowman, the rope break. So, Mox and Archer was a clean finish, right? And it was a pretty much sliding, what is happening here? A sliding driver type, type deal. Oh, I knew somebody was coming out. I can see the camera move. But who is he here to attack? Whose side is he on, folks? So Mox won that match, attacking Johnny Blaze. Archer did the blackout, but then Mox kind of just shifted his weight and got in that very quick roll-up type pinfall, which was hilarious, and that was the end of that. But then Eddie Kingston and his boys attacked Moxley. Well, first he was like, oh, well, you're great, Mox, you're awesome, and then did the, you know, swerve there and attacked him. But elsewhere on the show, as Rezar makes his presence felt, Elsewhere on the show, there was that huge MJF announcement. Number one, he got Sammy Guevara his jacket, his inner circle jacket, and it was a like 5XL, so super huge. That, that was hilarious, right? But besides that, besides that, uh, he kind of sort of wants to join. Nice. Storm Zero? Or what was that called? I forget. What, what's, what's, what's the Osprey move? Um, I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head, because... My nose is running. It's just been a rough morning. Rough morning. But, um, there we go. One, two, with the help of Rezar. I didn't need it, but I got it. Only because Rezar handed it to me. Look, man, that was not my call. It just happened. But he will not always be there. Him or Akum. My progress still being hindered by the dojo. And Rezar got some buzz there from interfering. Matt Bloom. He's struggling. He has to have more matches on this show. I want to not be here, but I don't have a contract and I need money. So I guess I'm going to have to work another match on this show. Who will it be against? My chance to shine and show that I am a workhorse in this industry, in this business. Who's it gonna be? 
Who do you got? One on one versus Eric Rowan. So, Big Red is here. Big Red is here. Let's take him out and show that Attack Slug is the best in the world. Now then. Next week, we're going to have a steak dinner with MJF and Jericho. So that, I think, eventually ends up being a match at the next big show between those two. Also, Darby Allen's going to challenge at the, at the next big show for that TNT championship. That's going to happen. So, you know, they're building some stuff for their next roll-up. Oh, the gable and the rope break. Why count one if it was a rope break? Matt Bloom, ineffective referee. Matt Hardy has been cleared for action, and he get and Sammy Guevara, speaking of, is not done with Matt Hardy. So really, those two have had such terrible luck in that feud that I was hoping it would not continue because someone's gonna seriously get hurt. They already did. They already did. But even further, like I don't want to see anybody get seriously hurt in wrestling. So. Personally, I think it would be prudent to keep to keep them to keep them away from each other. But apparently, AEW and Matt and Sammy don't agree. So here we are, and that whole thing is gonna be a thing. Rope break. Come on now, Big Red. Go sniff Renee Young's hair and solve a Rubik's cube, if you will. And where is your doppelganger, Big Red? Where is that guy? Oh, look at that! Skull crushing finale on that solid steel steps that he introduced. Therefore, they can't get me DQ'd on that beardness, Big Red. Boom! The reverse suplex. Two. And a... Not a three. Not a three. Okay, so what happened on... What happened there? What happened on NXT last night? Again with the Braun Strowman. But hurt me as much as it hurt him. All right, Rowan, Rowan. Uh, we have a new number one tag title contenders that will be the Undisputed Era. And we have a new number one contender for Io Shirai, and that will be Candice LeRae. Tony Storm was back in action on the show. Good to see. Damian Priest retained uh, because of Cameron Grimes' interference, as I said would happen. That's the most logical thing that could happen with that bit of beardness to the moon right but the biggest thing announced there was that halloween havoc for both gargano challenging priest and candace big ending and candace challenging eo will be the return of spin the wheel make the deal i told you triple h huge mark for wcw so not only bringing back havoc but also, bringing it back, spin the wheel, make the deal, is hilarious. So, good stuff. Again, Albert, your big, bald head is in my way. And it's getting on my nerves. Like, give me a regular official here. Please. And Rowan, somehow, with the choke slam, the iron claw slam, can you just get things out of the way, out of my camera vision? Like, it's all I'm asking for. I almost had finisher, and Rowan... Begging off there. Oh, the giant crossbody takes down the official. Somehow, someway. Spine buster. Spine on the pan. Goes Rowan. And not a three count. Somehow, Big Red here is fighting through the pain. Fighting through the zero health. I don't know how he's doing it. And that's a rope break. Let him go. Let me go. You had until five. You didn't use it. I don't know why. I don't care why. But get out of the way, Flatliner. Pin. I'm holding the pin button on the steps. On that steel. How? Eric Rowan. Big Red. What is Henning with this? This camera is killing me. Just give me something I can actually see to be able to win this matchup. Like, this is not that difficult. One. Two. And a two count. I need to get a finish on Rowan. Or a scoop slam. Instant kick out. Here, 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 here. Slug driver. Center of the ring. Can't be any prettier than that. In the steps. And there. 
it's over. Two matches, two victories. Just so you know, I let you win. Shut up, Eric Rowan. I won that fair and square. Fair and square. That was two matches in one night for Attack Slug. And my progress is still being hindered. Won't somebody, besides 205, try to hire me? But also, that match was for the paycheck. The only reason Ricochet renewed his Raw contract. Attack Slug has been challenged to increase his stamina to 81%. I'm at 82. So don't worry about it. He's a man, such a man, he's a real, real man's man. Yes, William Regal, I will take your NXT deal. Thank you. You hold out for the right deal. I told you. I told you. And importantly, I'm going to hit the start button. Nothing else, just start. Creative, we'll deal with, but first, get me there. Your brand new NXT asset. Thank you, William Regal. Who is NXT champion? Finn Balor? I'm going to get him. Don't worry. But immediately, William Regal wants to change the mood. This is why you signed for, this is why you signed for creative. I know, I've said it a million times, but I didn't want to risk losing the deal. So I'll change the moves back on the back end, but you know what? Perhaps Regal being the mind that he is, has a great idea for a new finisher. We shall see. But next up, a tag team match with Thatch as Thatch. Here we are, entering NXT. And speaking of NXT, apparently the crowd in the Capitol Wrestling Center on the Videotron screens, is that me and... The crowd on the screens, right? Um is apparently not live. There is no Thunderdome application for those spots. They're pre-recorded from the Thunderdome. There's Dexter Loomis there. Um, it is pre the Colognes. What? No, it's Thatcher and Loomis. What I, I don't see Epico and Primo here. <laughs> What's happening? I do not know. Anyhow, I have the microphone for my NXT debut, if you will. Look, everybody, attack slug, master of the suplex knee strike. I guess that's me. Thanks, Regal. That move is pathetic and doesn't worry a real warrior like me. Be worried. When I, when I, when I hit my finish, it's over. Over? Once I, hit, once I hit my go to sleep, your career will be over. Like, since when does he do the go to sleep? Whatever. But also, who is my tag team partner? I do not know. I think it's Killian Dane, but it could be... No, what's the other guy? Bronson Reed. I think it perhaps is my tag team partner here. As Loomis. The roll-up for Loomis. Anyhow, yeah. So, apparently, the fans in the Capitol Wrestling Arena uh, on the screens are pre-recorded from Raw and SmackDown. So, that's kind of weird. Weird. But, hey. It is what it is, because you're filming it, it's not live, or whatever. Tag out. Tag out. I don't know what button is to tag out. No, referee. Oh, well. Here we are. Me and Thatcher. Gonna get it on. So, uh, elsewhere in some non-wrestling news, John Cena got married. Congratulations on that. She could see him. And apparently Andrade is undrafted because he has some surgery to have and and should be out for a month or so. So that's kind of what's going on and why he was not drafted in that. And also, the Fiend attacking him also makes more sense now. So, Thatcher, what are you doing, man? Thatch is Thatch can the gingerbread man. Gonna tag out? Gonna get... Bro, what's happening? The whole point of this match is for me... It's for me to hit my new, my new finisher. So, can that happen? Will that happen? Why and how and such? Build towards that Feeny-ish on Thatch. If you will. Nope. Get over here. Hard hitting action on NXT. And the kick to the gut. Not cool, Thatch. Not cool. 
I'm already damaged from having two matches in one night on the dojo. But thankfully, somebody saw my value, and that was Mr. William Regal. And no, Thatch, you ain't tagging out. It ain't henning for you. Sorry. Sorry. If you're Canadian. Sorry. Uh, there it is. There it is. Locked in deep. And making my meter go up. Will Thatch tap to a basic wrestling. There it is. Slug lock. Gripping him. And dipping him. And going for a potential tap out. But also, I'm just about at hitting my Feeny-ish. Alright. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. There it is. There it is. Knee to face. Rope break my... I hate that. One, two, and a two count because it took so long to actually get to the... Yeah, that was garbage. Absolute garbage. And now a leg lock from Dexter Loomis. I don't appreciate Thatcher. You got so lucky. So lucky. And you aren't legal, Loomis. Referee, get some control here. Here comes Thatcher from the top. Gonna fly. Not gonna fly. Not flying at all. He's not a high flyer. Instead, he gets the microphone. I can't get out of this leg lock. My tag team partner is useless. Not helping me at all. And yes, that is Bronson Reed. Also, Aubrey Edwards here as the official. What, what? She defected from AEW. How about that? Let's try going back to side follow here. And... No! Thatcher from the top. Uncharacteristic for the Matt Grappler, if you will. But he hasn't tagged out. Which means Attack Slug still has a shot here to tap him out in the ring. And a rope break. You know, give me a good old-fashioned no DQ option here because otherwise... What happened to Loomis? What happened there? Just bump for no reason. That was weird, but okay. Thatcher! See, this is the problem with the moveset change is this game has a cool thing where you can make all your moves random. Oh no! And I love having all the moves be random. Rope break. Be consistent there, Aubrey. You're dang right it was a rope break. I'm still mad about the last one that happened for no reason. Thatcher. The knockdown drag out and the headlock takeover. Which is not what I wanted to do, but here we are and here we go. I'm so far from hitting finisher. And at this point, just make the headlock tap him out and make him pass out. Pass him out. And then Loomis interrupts. Bronson Reed does not, is not... Yeah, you guys fight m amongst yourselves. Um, there. Bronson Reed. Now, oh my god, Bronson Reed. Just, yeah, that was terrible. That was terrible. That was terrible. But, Thatcher not tagging out to Loomis, which is his own mistake, as Bronson Reed is now going to run roughshod over Thatcher. Just, I have until five. I have until five. That kind of business there. Uh, he hasn't ta- What are you doing? What am I doing? What is this camera doing? It's bad. Thatcher, you want some a read? Come get some. And he's getting some. So, I shouldn't have said that. He's just a boy. It's Bronson Reed. It's his fault. And attack that with the distraction. Bronson Reed with the headlock. Will Thatcher tap? That's the question of this matchup. He screamed, yes. Yes, he will tap. Too many headlocks. And Thatcher taps out. And there is that fat NXT paycheck. And my lifestyle costs went way down for unexplained reasons. So, profit, man. All about that profit. Carl Anderson is saying on Impact. Regal's rep is suffering by hanging out with Barty Piper. But why? He's changing the questions. The fans insist on treating Kyle O'Reilly as a face. Kona Reeves' stamina is down. Thatcher is disappointed that a tax slug has joined NXT. T. Mikey is glad I left the dojo. Rezar is sad I left the dojo. I'm sorry, Rezar. I let you down. And the tag team nonsense continues against Gargano tomorrow. 
I'm a tax lug. Thanks for watching. More videos right here. See you next time, and I'm out.